Beneath the canvas of a stolid sky, where history whispers in the rustling leaves of the Tiber's ancient banks, lies the tale of a city birthed from divinity and human strife. This is not just any story, but the epic saga of Rome, a city that rose from the fertile earth to etch its name into the eternal stones of history. This chronicle begins in the shadow of a prophecy, on the sacred grounds where the river meets destiny, setting the stage for a tale of power, betrayal and redemption. Here, among the whispering winds and the Godian ship of the gods, Rome emerged as a beacon of civilization, a fortress of ideals that would challenge the very heavens. From the dramatic rescue by a she-wolf to the tragic fratricide that cast a long shadow over Rome's foundation, this story is a testament to the unyielding will of its people, a narrative that spans the rise of kings, the clash of empires, and the forging of a legacy that still captivates the imagination of the world. Welcome to Imperium Ascendant, Rise of the Roman Empire. In the dawn of 753 BC, on the enchanting banks of the Tiber River, Rome emerged, but this was no ordinary birth. No, it was shrouded in the mystique of two brothers, Romulus and Remus, descendants of the ancient King Numita of Olbalonga. Numita, robbed of his throne by the sinister hand of his jealous brother Amulius, witnessed the cold-blooded murder of his sons and the unjust condemnation of his daughter, Rhea Silvia, to a life of perpetual virginity. Yet, destiny took an unexpected turn as Rhea conceived the sons of the god Mars, thrown into the unforgiving currents of the Tiber River upon their birth. These defenseless winds found an unlikely savior in a she-wolf. Their destinies intertwined with the future city of Rome. They were nursed back to life beneath a fig tree at the base of Palatine Hill. Saved from the brink of demise by the benevolent herdsman Faustulus and his wife, the brothers grew under the guise of humble upbringing. Manhood unraveled the tapestry of their true lineage, sparking a fire of revenge against the usurper kingdom Iulius. In a daring ambush, the brothers, fueled by hatred, reclaimed their grandfather's throne, restoring justice. Yet, the path to glory was not without its challenges. Romulus and Remus, now united, aspired to build a city atop the hills that had cradled them in their infancy. A disagreement on the city's location ignited a celestial dispute, as each brother sought divine guidance. Remus, witnessed to six vultures over the Aventine Hill, clashed with Romulus, who beheld twelve over Palatine Hill. The clash escalated into a tragic confrontation, sealing the fate of Rome. Remus, the visionary dreamer, fell to the sword of his own brother, leaving a stain on the soil that would birth the most extraordinary city in history. Thus, with blood and destiny intertwined, Romulus stood alone, the architect of Rome, a city born from the tumultuous echoes of a legendary tale. One hundred men, the architects of destiny, formed the nucleus of the fledgling Roman Senate. These painters, the city fathers, paved the way for a ruling elite known as the Patricians, while the plebs, a diverse class of servants, freedmen and outlaws, struggled for recognition in the shadow of their aristocratic counterparts. Romulus orchestrated a daring gambit to secure the city's future, a plan involving festivals and games designed to entice women from neighboring tribes, notably the Sabines. Amidst the revelry, a clandestine signal unleashed a wave of Roman abductions, sparking a war that would shape the course of history. The tribes of Sinina, crushed Umerium, and Antemni fell before the might of Rome, but it was the Sabines, led by the formidable Titus Dacius, who confronted the Romans head-on, plunging the city into a brutal conflict. The tide turned only when the kidnapped women, now integral to both sides, pleaded for peace, forging a united front against external threats. In the wake of Romulus's 34-year reign, 
clouded by the mystery of his demise. Rome entered an era marked by the rule of seven kings, a period of pivotal importance that laid the foundations for the Republic's expansion. The Gauls' destructive invasion in 387 BC obscured much of this historical record, but scholars discerned the emergence of Rome as a dominant force on the Italian peninsula by 290 BC. Rome's ascendancy drew envious glances from across the Mediterranean, sparking conflicts with Carthage and Greece. The Pyrrhic War of 280 BC against the formidable Pyrrhus of Epirus introduced the haunting concept of a Pyrrhic victory, foreshadowing the toll exacted by ambition. The Punic War of 264 BC, a clash with Carthage, became a protracted struggle, costing both nations dearly. Yet, Rome emerged victorious, claiming territories that reshaped the geopolitical landscape, Corsica, Sardinia, and most of Sicily. As the dust settled after the tumultuous Punic War, Rome emerged not just as a dominant power, but as the undisputed superpower destined to rule Europe with an iron fist. With the spoils of victory, including newfound territories and the perpetual bounty of Sicilian grains, Rome underwent a thunderous revitalization of its military prowess. This epochal resurgence was the birth pangs of the Roman Empire, a colossal force that would shatter the shackles of its past and etch its name into the very fabric of history. Casting its gaze beyond the Mediterranean, Rome embarked on a relentless campaign, conquering lands far and wide, leaving an indelible mark on the world. In the shadow of its boundless conquests, Rome stood not merely as a colossus of power, but as the luminary of the ancient world, the cradle of innovations, cultural masterpieces, and unrivaled economic might. The ascendancy of Rome weaves a saga not solely of dominion, but of an indomitable spirit, the chorus of endurance and ingenuity that resonates through millennia, thrusting an empire into the golden pages of immortality. This was Rome, an emblem not only of triumph, but of a timeless legacy, sculpted from the raw essence of daring dreams and ceaseless aspirations. Across the tapestry of history, Rome remains etched in the collective memory of humanity, not merely as the architect of an empire, but as the eternal flame of greatness, illuminating the path of glory for generations to come.